Victor Mayer Schonberger, Big Data, a revolution that will transform how we live, work, and think. Dive into the world of big data as you explore the compelling and thought-provoking book, Big Data, a revolution that will transform how we live, work, and think by Victor Mayer Schonberger. Learn how the process of datafication is capturing invaluable information about our world and giving rise to innovative new products and insights. Furthermore, discover how big data frees us from the limitations of using small samples, allows for more accurate predictions and findings, and unlocks the potential of secondary applications. Embark on an enlightening journey through the transformative potential of big data, as you come to understand both its benefits and pitfalls. Beyond Data, Innovative Insights In the era of datafication, our digital footprints are being transformed into valuable insights that shape the technological landscape. Innovations in data capture have been driven by a range of companies, extending to sources we hadn't previously considered. Japan's Advanced Institute of Industrial Technology uses pressure sensors to identify individuals' unique weight distribution on car seats, adding a layer of security by starting the car only for recognized drivers. Apple filed a patent for earbuds that measure vital signs, while IBM holds a patent for touch-sensitive floors that can trace people's movements. By tapping into these unconventional data sources, researchers aim to uncover novel insights about human behavior to create cutting-edge products that effortlessly integrate into our daily lives. Ditching Sampling for Big Data In the past, collecting and interpreting data was challenging due to limited access and resources. Sampling, an approach commonly used, involves gathering a small portion of data as a representative of the entire population. However, this method comes with inherent issues, especially when trying to analyze specific subgroups. Nowadays, thanks to technological advancements enabling the collection of big data, we can obtain and analyze extensive amounts of information. This allows for a more in-depth examination of subgroups and helps us steer clear of small sample limitations. Back in the day, before the internet and computing revolutionized our world, obtaining and deciphering data was a daunting task. In fact, we could only gather minimal amounts of information and try to make sense of them as accurately as possible. Imagine conducting a phone survey among voters for an upcoming local election. Chances are, you wouldn't be able to reach everyone, so you'd have to call a few hundred people and hope their responses represent the entire populace. This is known as sampling, basing conclusions on a small data subset with the assumption that it's representative of the whole group. However, Suppose a journalist questions your predictions for a specific demographic, such as public servants. You realize you've only interviewed 10 individuals from this subgroup and thus can't provide reliable estimates. If asked about an even more specialized subgroup, example, public servants under 30, your results would be even less dependable, or entirely unpredictable, since you've only surveyed a single person. Sampling's core issue lies in the fact that our conclusions become unreliable and hard to draw when examining smaller subsets of data. Conversely, the big data era has made information gathering and analysis significantly easier and more comprehensive. With massive amounts of data at our fingertips, we can study a wide array of details, including the voting preferences of tens of thousands of individuals or even an entire town. The ability to scrutinize subgroups endlessly is now possible, liberating us from the restrictions and inaccuracies that come with small sample data analysis. The Power of Big Data In the 1980s, IBM attempted to create a language translation program by utilizing statistical probabilities and a limited sample of high-quality data. Despite its potential, the project failed due to the lack of sufficient data. However, a decade later, Google pursued a similar task, but with a much larger and messier dataset, the entire World Wide Web. Surprisingly, this approach led to more accurate translations than any other system. This shows that vast sets of imperfect data can sometimes be more beneficial than smaller, accurate ones when it comes to big data applications. In the quest to develop a language translation program, IBM engineers took an innovative approach in the 1980s. 
Instead of relying on grammar rules and dictionaries, they allowed the computer to use statistical probabilities to estimate the appropriate word or phrase based on translated text samples fed into the system. Utilizing only 3 million sentence pairs from official Canadian parliamentary documents, IBM's team focused on a high-quality, yet limited dataset. Although early outcomes seemed promising, the project ultimately failed. The system could only provide trustworthy translations for frequent words and phrases, faltering with less common ones. The crux of the issue was the lack of substantial data. A challenge arises when dealing with only a small portion of data, inaccuracies, especially for infrequent occurrences, can lead to significant problems. Nevertheless, increasing the data volume tends to minimize inaccuracies' impact on results. When Google tackled language translation, they shifted gears and opted for an extensive dataset of varying quality, the entire global internet. By scouring billions of web pages, the system leveraged every available translation. Surprisingly, the sheer volume outperformed other rival systems, making Google's translations more precise despite the input's questionable quality. This example demonstrates that big data's power lies in its ability to forgive inaccuracies. Amassing a significant portion of available data diminishes the impact of any flaws, ultimately proving that larger and messier data sets can be more valuable than smaller, more refined ones. Uncovering Hidden Patterns when searching for a used car, one might focus on its age, mileage, origin, or make and model, but few would consider the color of the paintwork. In a 2012 data analysis competition, it was discovered that orange cars were half as likely to have defects as the average car. While the reasons behind this correlation are unclear, it highlights the usefulness of big data in revealing connections we may not think to explore. In a study by IBM and the University of Ontario, researchers used big data to analyze premature babies' vital signs and discovered that stability indicated an impending infection, allowing for more proactive treatment. While big data may not explain the reasons behind these correlations, the information is still valuable in practical application. When hunting for the perfect used car, you're likely to consider various factors, age, mileage, where it's from, the make and model. But would the car's color ever catch your attention? A data analysis competition in 2012 found a striking correlation, orange cars had half the likelihood of defects than the average car. While it's natural to wonder about the underlying reasons for these correlations, big data's potential lies in making unusual predictions and observations from the massive amounts of data available. In a fascinating study conducted by IBM and the University of Ontario, Data from babies' vital signs was analyzed to assist doctors in making better decisions for premature infants. Contrary to intuition, stable vital signs just before an infection were revealed, indicating the calm before the storm. Previously, doctors wouldn't have been alarmed by stable vital signs, but by identifying this connection, healthcare professionals can provide better, more timely treatment. Big data's strength lies in unveiling correlations, even if it doesn't reveal the reasons two things are related. By embracing its power to find hidden patterns, we can optimize decision-making and improve our lives in unexpected ways. Unlocking data's hidden value. Companies typically gather data to serve a primary purpose, such as tracking sales or monitoring productivity. However, many are discovering that this same data can offer even more significant secondary benefits. For instance, SWIFT, an interbank payment system, found a strong correlation between its payment data and global economic activity, allowing it to provide accurate GDP forecasts. Similarly, seemingly outdated internet search terms can reveal valuable insights into customer preferences and market trends when analyzed, as shown by companies like Experian who leverage this information. Mobile phone companies have also found great use in real-time location data, using it for monitoring traffic flows and delivering geolocated advertisements. As big data adept organizations and individuals become increasingly aware of these secondary benefits, they are designing innovative products and systems to capitalize on newly discovered value hidden within their collected data. Harnessing the Big Data Mindset 
Possessing a big data mindset enables individuals to identify valuable information opportunities, even without data ownership or analysis skills. Success stories such as Flightcaster and Decide.com demonstrate how people with such a mindset can excel in the rapidly evolving data landscape. It is essential to develop this mindset, which can lead to spotting new opportunities in the data surrounding us and ultimately creating value from them. A crucial aspect of thriving in the modern data-driven era is adopting a big data mindset, which allows individuals to recognize when and where valuable information can be extracted. This applies even to those who may not possess data or data analysis skills. The real triumph lies in identifying opportunities before others and capitalizing on them. A prime example of this is Bradford Cross, who in his mid-twenties, founded Flightcaster with a group of friends. By combining publicly accessible data on flight timings and weather, they developed accurate predictions on flight delays across the United States. The success of their venture was so immense that airline employees would reference their site to obtain updates about their flights. Similarly, Decide.com is another example of a company that has flourished based on the big data mindset. Their system captures 25 billion price quotes for more than 4 million products from various e-commerce platforms. By analyzing this wealth of data, they not only guide users towards the best prices but also provide advice on the ideal purchasing time, anticipating when prices are likely to rise or fall. These success stories illustrate how economies are increasingly shaping around data, prompting more people and organizations to grasp the potential value of information extraction. Those who cultivate a big data mindset are well prepared to prosper in this data gold rush. Adopting this frame of mind will enable anyone to discover and create value from the vast data landscape that surrounds us. Unlocking data's hidden potential. Ever played the board game Clue? You know that combining little pieces of information unveils a bigger picture, and the same is true for datasets. When merged, valuable trends and connections may surface which were previously concealed. For instance, a Danish research group in 2011 performed a large-scale study, interlacing mobile phone user data with cancer patient records. Despite controlling for various factors and using nearly all national cancer records, the study found no link between mobile phone usage and cancer. Another example is Inrix, a traffic analysis company that gathers real-time location data from multiple sources to create valuable insights into traffic flows and jams. So, whether it's by merging different data sets or multiple data of the same kind, combining them can lead to discoveries that individual data sets couldn't reveal on their own. Harnessing Data Exhaust Power Modern businesses are greatly benefiting from the vast amounts of customer data gathered through online interactions, also known as data exhaust. The ease of collecting data in the digital age has allowed companies to optimize their products and services, making them more customer-centric. Google's use of search queries and typos to improve its spellchecker and autocomplete system exemplifies the power of utilizing data exhaust. Furthermore, Facebook's layout adjustment based on users' interaction patterns showcases how online platforms can harness user data to enhance their services. Online gaming companies, such as Zynga, also refine their games by analyzing player behavior, thus improving user experience. In essence, businesses that embrace and skillfully utilize customer data can significantly elevate the quality of their offerings. Obsolete Privacy Measures as the digital world grows, navigating the sea of online user agreements is an unavoidable chore. Yet, despite privacy laws requiring disclosure about information collection and usage, these lengthy agreements are often dismissed without thorough understanding. While companies emphasize consent and anonymization to protect individual privacy, increased data collection and technology advancements render these methods increasingly ineffective. Today's privacy laws limit the potential for creative uses of data, and anonymization efforts fail to prevent sensitive information from being revealed. Thus, society must seek new solutions to keep pace with the ever-evolving big data landscape. Navigating the internet means dealing with user agreements, which serve to gather consent for businesses to collect and use personal data. 
Companies follow privacy laws by informed consent and use anonymization, the removal of personally identifiable details, to share data they collect. Yet, as the world dives deeper into big data territory, these methods are losing their effectiveness in maintaining privacy. Privacy laws unintentionally limit the secondary benefits of data use by confining the information to particular purposes. Companies must undergo a tiresome process of gaining individual user approval before adopting data for any previously unanticipated uses. This bottleneck not only hampers inventive data applications but also stands at odds with the rapidly changing landscape of big data. Moreover, increased data collection and technological advancements continually chip away at the efficacy of anonymization. Rising case examples, such as the AOL data release incident, demonstrate the ease of re-identifying users, even in the face of anonymization attempts. When AOL released a massive dataset of anonymized search terms for research purposes, the New York Times discerned a user's identity, ultimately exposing personal information. As the march into the big data world continues, it is increasingly clear that current privacy laws and anonymization techniques are lagging. To protect users, safeguard privacy, and embrace the potential rewards of data usage, fresh and effective alternatives must enter the fray. Predictions versus Moral Choices The movie Minority Report highlights how a society that relies on predictions to apprehend criminals can potentially strip individuals of their free will. Currently, data and profiling are used to influence decisions in parole and policing, however, it can promote discrimination and guilt by association. As the trend of predictive profiling intensifies, it's necessary to prevent losing sight of the significance of moral choices and avoid passing judgment on individuals before they've actually committed a crime. In a world akin to that of the Minority Report, predictions become so precise that people are arrested before they even have an opportunity to commit a crime. While the movie may be a work of science fiction, today's society is already using predictions to make decisions based on human behavior. For instance, parole boards in more than half of the United States use data analysis to predict a prisoner's likelihood of re-offending before deciding their fate. Law enforcement agencies, too, have embraced predictive policing to apportion their limited resources. Profiling, where individuals or neighborhoods are chosen for extra surveillance based on characteristics linked to crime, such as poverty, unemployment, and drug use, is common. National security forces similarly employ such profiling measures. However, when misapplied, these methods give rise to discrimination and the perception of guilt by association. Imagine being suspected of terrorism only because of your ethnicity, social circle, and background. Furthermore, relying on big data and detailed information to target individuals, rather than groups, still poses a risk. What if suspects were apprehended, patients were refused treatment, or employees were discharged based on their anticipated actions, rather than their past actions? As using prediction starts to shape the administration of law and order, the principle of moral choice is called into question. It's crucial to prevent our society from treading this perilous path and continue to emphasize the importance of right and wrong. While big data aids our ability to foresee criminal behavior, we must avoid condemning people before they commit any crime. The Dark Side of Data The growing inclination to use data for enhancing various aspects of life comes with potential pitfalls. Quantifying life can cause us to measure things that fail to accurately reflect the intended information, such as using standardized tests to assess a student's education. This can have unintended consequences, like encouraging teachers and students to prioritize test scores over actual learning. Furthermore, being overly data-driven can lead to relying on biased or unreliable data to shape our actions, like Robert McNamara's disastrous use of body counts as a progress indicator during the Vietnam War. As we become increasingly dependent on big data, we must be mindful of its limitations and potential dangers, ensuring we don't let data govern us in harmful ways. Having delved into the realms of big data, we've seen how it impacts and transforms various aspects of our lives. Companies and individuals with a big data mindset are capitalizing on new opportunities, 
and the combination of data sets reveals insights that were once hidden. Additionally, the rise of data exhaust aids companies in enhancing their services. However, we must also be cautious of the limitations and dangers associated with big data, such as the obsolescence of privacy laws, the moral implications of predictive policing, and the risks of being overly data-driven. As we continue to navigate the big data landscape, maintaining a balanced perspective will be crucial in reaping the full potential benefits while avoiding negative consequences.